to now. So this will be my last little offering before Christmas. So very exciting. We're rolling through Christmas weekend. And it's a, it's a beautiful month just from a, um, a lunar point of view because of that lovely energy flowing through with the Gemini moon. So very much about helping us to communicate and connect in a compassionate way with our fellow human beings. So hopefully you're noticing that finding that your communication and connection with your loved ones is beautiful and, and really kind of opens your heart and helps you to feel very appreciated and very blessed right now. If you're finding that that's not the case, that's okay. That means you're on the journey towards that stuff and instead focus on giving yourself love, you know, taking the time to cultivate time for yourself and really working on that, <clears throat> just giving to yourself. For all of us, but I think if we're in a, in a situation where maybe for whatever reason um, we're not really receiving that love from the people around us, then it's time to give it to ourselves. And you'll see a significant shift um, in the people around you if you do focus on that for a while. So give that a try. So, one key thing about communicating is really having that discernment understanding when it's important to say no in order to bring the yes into your life. And I've been feeling that myself, I get pushed and pulled around. Um, it's hard for me to say no to work, you know, I find that that's where it shows up for me. Um, and in case it goes away, you know, that kind of, that kind of black mentality does kind of filter through um, in the day job a bit for me. So, you know, so I kind of sometimes overcommit myself. And so I do understand about this idea of taking the time to say no and take the time for yourself, you know. So I actually created a little movie meditation which is based on something that Sophia Tong does. Um, it's my own variation of it. But one of the things she talks about is the sword of truth, which is our centre line through our bodies, the central channel. And operating from that central channel as we're doing our yoga practice, and obviously cultivating the core, particularly the manicura, because that's our confidence there. That's where we stand our ground. So working from there, so doing a lot of kind of movements through the belly space, little hula hoop movements as you're doing your yoga, and being aware of that center line as you're working. And the mudra is this one, you know, talk to the hand. <laughs> I just cracks me up. So there was this amazing um, uh, receptionist in one, and at um, Revitalize where I used to work in Brighton and she would say to the clients talk to the hand <laughs> if they were being cheeky so yes this talk to the hand moment just no you know no so the mudra is that very definite no and really kind of you know defining your space just saying no this is my space this is my space so that's kind of the movement you're kind of working through and going no but all the way around you know using up as much space as you can to be let go behind you as well and above you and below you and all that sort of thing. So I created this thing and, and another way is to kind of stamp your feet as well. So I added that in a little moment on stamping your feet because, you know, it's about holding your ground and saying, actually, this is where I stand. This is, you know, this is what I believe in and this is important to me and, you know, I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> step out of my way that kind of thing, and it may feel uncomfortable, if you, especially if you're a really nice person, you know, and that sort of stuff. It's something I've had to really work on for myself, is being able to stand up for myself and have that inner confidence to believe that I have a right to be seen and heard, the heard face, you know, being able to speak my truth, which comes from being really centered and really sure of yourself. So I, I created that little movie meditation, so I'll add that in, and so look out for that, and have a play with it, because it's one of those things you can kind of move around and shift and change it um, to suit your, your own body. So have a play with that over the, the, the Christmas break, a little bit of time to yourself, uh, and just see how you feel. I tell you, this stuff is amazing, and the more I dive into it, the more I learn, this idea of therapeutic movement is something that's really grabbed my attention. Um, obviously yoga is, is therapeutic movement, but it's taken it to another level really with, with working with this element to yoga. And I'm 
really enjoying discovering different ways to move the body, um, which help to cultivate this love and this next feeling state. So like I say, at the moment, it's just about that discernment, having that, that core strength, that, that centeredness, so that you can communicate you know, in a loving way what it is that you have to say. All right, so have a play with all of that and enjoy that. Always with a light heart, I think, it's a key thing about this stuff because it is very heavy and serious, but we don't have to be heavy and serious about it. You know? And I think the more you do it, the less kind of you know, intense you are about it all. All right, let's choose your cards for this deck. So what do the creative yogis need to know about that? What do they need to know? Choose a card. My heart radiates with uh, contentment wherever I go. There you go. My heart radiates with contentment wherever I go. There you go. The thing is, if you feel safe in the world, then you can be open, you can be loving. I think that's kind of the key thing about this stuff. Cultivating that inner strength helps you to be soft, actually. You know. So that's lovely. So that's it for me today. Um, just a little update what I'm up to. Um, I'm getting my yoga teacher training courses up and running for next year and if any of you are interested in doing anything online just reach out to me because I am still have that element there at the moment but I'm just mantling um, quite a lot of it to make it um, a physical practice uh, for people to come to me. But if you are interested and in learn this elemental yoga just reach out and we can do stuff online for you. I've also got my yoga retreats, which are very exciting to do. Uh, and again, people are involved uh, and coming along and, and, and uh, contributing to the creative side, which is pretty fab. And I'm actually looking into and researching get creating tinctures and things from um, crystals, because I really love working with crystals. So creating sprays and aromatherapy blends with um, crystals that have been charged and all that sort of thing. So I'm starting to research that, and once I've got it, created 